Hello, this is Mr. Erickson, and I've got a quick crash course on using our Apex Learning website to do your earth science or biology curriculum this year. First thing you're going to do when you get to this website, which I will send the link to, is you're going to use your login information, which I also will provide for you, to uh, access your account. So you type in your user information, and that takes you to this home page called My Dashboard. Uh, at the top right you notice your name and if you click on that that's how you'll change your password and set other personal information. You'll also notice there's a help menu and an alerts menu at the top as well as the Apex Learning logo that brings you back to the dashboard. On the left side you'll see any of the courses that you're currently enrolled in and um, some of you may be enrolled in more than just science courses using Apex so you'll see each of those listed. Over on the right side you'll notice there are messages. I am not going to be using messages and I'm not going to be reading messages on the Apex Learning site. So if you have a question or you want to get a hold of me, please use the inbox on our other website, Canvas. That's the best way for us to communicate this year. We are going to use the calendar extensively, so let me just show you how this works. When you click on the view for the calendar, you will notice all of your courses put on one calendar with specific dates that assignments are due. It's very important that you check this regularly so that you do not fall behind in your assignments. And please note that some teachers, like myself, will expect you to have completed several assignments on a single day and you do not want to procrastinate these. These take time, so even though they're not due until Wednesday, September 2nd, the expectation is that you will be working on them over the weekend or during Monday and Tuesday and that you'll kind of pace yourself so that all those assignments are done before the due dates. Going back to our uh, Apex dashboard page, I'm going to go ahead and click on this course here called Earth Science and show you how these assignments work. You'll notice on the left side is a navigation with the big idea, what is Earth Science at the top? This would be called Unit 1 and smaller ideas such as thinking like a scientist listed below. Let's start with the big idea. What is earth science? You'll notice that there's text to be read. If you prefer to listen to that text you click on the arrow and they will read the text for you or to you. If you prefer to have your own copy of this you click on the print icon and you can print out any of these pages. Though I don't recommend that because they are very long. Next I'm going to click on Thinking Like a Scientist 1.1 and notice that there's a lot more text to read here. Graphics, again someone will read for you if you want. Please note the icons on the side. This key icon is the key terms and when you click on that it opens up a glossary for this section. And placing your cursor over any of these words brings up the vocabulary term. You'll notice these same terms such as scientific method appear in our text over here. And so if you hold your cursor over those, you get the same effect. Assignment 1.1.1 is something for us to study. So we click on this, and we're going to study the layers of earth science. Many of these assignments will have a study guide that goes with them. If you click on this icon, it will open another window called the study sheet, which you can print. I am going to be collecting study sheets from you, and in a later lesson, I will show you how I will collect those. You All right, as we continue scanning down here, you notice that there are a lot of these triangles that will play the text for us. Here we've got a video to watch. This is actually more of a slideshow video. Also, please note this video and many of these videos have more than one slide to them, so do not miss the next few slides that are in here. There's a lot of information for you to gather from this. So you're going to click through each of the slides. Um, this is one of the pages that does have navigation arrows, so do not miss these. There's another page. In fact, there's 13 pages to this lesson, so I'm going to continue and continue reading on about the sciences of earth science and the next page. And you just keep scanning through and reading each of these pages. As you read, you're going to fill in information on that study guide that I showed you before and you're going to use that to help guide your learning and to prepare you for the tests. All right, and again, look for those blue highlighted words. Those are important terms that you're able to understand and use. I also want to point out to you that on some of these pages, 
such as page 8. There are little review activities. So please do not skip these. These are good things to do to practice what you've been reading and to make sure you understand it. You can always go back and reread if you don't. There are questions from the reading that we just did and you're going to pick answers to go through this particular assignment. And on the next page there's another activity that you can do. Read the instructions on the side and complete these. This is to make sure that you understand what you're reading. When you get to assignment 1.1.3, you notice there's an orange box next to it, and that's because on this assignment you will receive a grade. This assignment has to do with a discussion, and as you read through this, please answer the questions carefully, follow these directions, and the directions say when you click on this next arrow, you will have the opportunity to add to our discussion. These discussions will stay here within Apex. They're not related or linked to our Canvas discussions. Um, when you're ready to answer this question, you click on the reply, and you type your message, and when you're done, you post that message. Please be aware that many of these discussions will require not only your own uh, reply, but that you read someone else's discussion and that you reply to theirs to get full credit. All right, and finally, I want to show you the quizzes. At the end of this unit, there is a quiz. Please note the directions on here say this quiz is worth 50 points, each question worth five, and you only get one attempt at each question. So please answer these questions carefully. You may use any of the study sheets that you've created while going through assignments to help you with the quiz. And so when you're ready, you click on the next arrow, and you begin answering these 10 questions. Uh, this first question, what type of scientist is most likely to study the cooling of lava? That sounds like somebody that would be studying rocks or a geologist. So you click on that, you click on your submit button at the top, and you'll get a little feedback and move on to the next question. As with all of these assignments, I will be able to see how much time you're spending on them. So if it looks like you're just clicking through assignments or just guessing on the quiz, it's pretty obvious to me. I would encourage you to do your best. And if you have any problems with the Apex website or the assignments, please contact me using our Canvas inbox, our conversation they call it, and I will try to get back to you as quickly as possible. You can also email me at school here or give me a phone call and I will try to help you stay on course. Good luck this semester and I wish you the best using our Apex curriculum.